Hello, my name is Ronald Griffin for ArtificialAnimation.com and in this Monday's tutorial we'll be taking a look at removing noise and sharpening up our images um, from DSLR cameras, from you know any kind of video camera, just consumer cameras. A lot of them um, can have some pretty serious noise issues um, and that is little pixels of sort of, the best way to describe it is dust I suppose in the background and it changes from frame to frame and this sometimes happens when the camera has to compensate a dark image by boosting the ISO. Um, it can be caused by a variety of things, but the point is, some of the time, it just doesn't look good. Um, film grain is very common, and in Hollywood, uh, it's even it's even sometimes overlaid because they want the film grain there, because it helps dilute the colors, it helps um, soften the image, it, it just adds that subtle effect on your eyes. But... Uh, it started obviously because the cameras actually put the noise there, um, not the not the editors. So the, the the sort of noise that is produced by the lower end DSLRs and even the the top range DSLRs uh, sometimes can look a, a bit ugly and it's not really um, it's not really pleasing on the eyes at all. So what I usually do is I remove that original noise and then I go back in and I overlay some some other noise. Um, so. Just in this tutorial, we'll be using a plugin called Neat Video. Um, it costs $49 to purchase. Uh, it's uh, one of the plugins that I would really recommend if this is something you're going to do a lot. There are other workarounds, you know, to remove noise, there are built in plugins, all that stuff. Um, and that's all great, they all work, but this works the best. There's no question about that. Um, it works for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, OpenFX. Vegas, Virtual Dub, Pinnacle Studio, Edius, however you pronounce that. Um, it works for nearly every uh, NLE and um, Compositor and all these programs, it just works with them. And the reason is that it opens its own external uh, p processing um, sort of program. So, we'll be using this. Um, if you don't have it, uh, you can download the trial. Um, it'll only allow you to work in something like 640 by 480 I think. So any, anyhow, get the plugin um, and follow along. And then what we'll be using to sort of sharpen the image is a high pass filter, which is completely free. I have uploaded it and you should download it. The link is in the description. If you want to install it, which I hope you do, um, you're gonna have to open the, uh, the RAR file or the zip file um, and take the high pass folder from in here and you want to drag it into your presets folder. So I'm using After Effects CS6 but if you're using CS5, it's exactly the same thing. You just go into your CS5 folder, support files, presets. Just basically find the presets folder. Um, so for CS6, it's support files, presets, and just drag high pass in. And obviously, I don't want to merge it because I already have it in there. So that's that. That's the installation part done. Let's hop into After Effects. And here we have an example. Um, this was shot using a 550D. It was shot using a 50 millimeter 1.4, um, and it's quite wide open here. We've got some bouquet in the background. We've got Joe smoking a cigarette, so it looks pretty good. And right, right, this this scene has already been processed. So I'll show you what it looks like in the background here if I had no processing on it. Um, now, if I just hit this snapshot button, you can see you can see all that noise just just bursting there and that is um, it's not nice if we look at his face you can see some of the sharpening detail you can see uh, before we didn't have as much detail afterwards we've sort of got uh, sort of got that handled so let's get let's jump right into it so you want to import your footage um, take your clip grab it into the make new comp button which is down there. Now that you've got your footage in a new composition, um, we'll just scrub through here, and you can see the noise. Um, YouTube does a horrible job of uh, sort of compressing videos, um, but you can see hopefully here there's some noise. You can see these pixels moving around. That's not um, that's not what we want at all. We don't want this grain here. We don't want this noise. So to get rid of this, we're going to use the neat video plugin. So with your clip selected, go to effects. Neat video, reduce noise. And we'll have this new effect here. And what we want to do is click options, and that brings up the neat video uh, program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click auto profile, because the whole point of this is to find a linear area in your scene. 
where he can process. So right here, it's selected this uh, this piece of his um, track suit, and uh, it's it's not a good selection. It's too small, like the uh, little box already told. So what we can do is we can click cancel. We can to another area. Um, you know, just find a frame that it seems like there's an area. I see this area down here on the left that would make a good candidate for this. So if we click auto profile again, it's still selecting the wrong area. What we can do is we can take this, we can just move it over, and we'll just, as long as the box is green, and you see that there's, um, you know, it's just one color back here. So you can see if we if we put it here, this would be a bad selection because it's got a, a range of different RGBs and yeah, it doesn't uh, it doesn't do what we want it to. So this area down here is is okay. So with that done, we can see here if we boost it, you can really start to see um, the noise here in the background. So with that done, we can go ahead and go into the noise filter settings. Actually, we just need to click auto profile once more. So now with that done, we go over to the noise filter settings, and you can see it's removed our noise. If we if we just click the preview button, and again, I'm not sure how well you can see this because of YouTube, but you can see it eliminates the noise right there. Um, so that's pretty good, but we don't want to destroy too much detail, which you can see if we look at his face. You can see we had more lines, we had more edges before the sharpening, or before the uh, noise reduction. So. We need to play around with the luminance. This is the main thing that affects how much noise is removed. So right about here, I think it's good. Um, we can also add sharpening right here in the program, but I would not suggest doing that. If you are in something like After Effects, I would suggest doing it uh, with the high pass filter that I'm about to show you. So right there is okay for me. I don't want to destroy too much, um, too much detail. And if we just hit apply now, We've got our uh, noise reduced image, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply this high pass filter. So if I just skip to an area where we have some interesting things going on, maybe right when he lights it. All right, so this is a pretty interesting shot. We can duplicate this. That's Control D on the keyboard, and with the top one, um, we just want to take the high pass filter. So you search high or uh, just go into the high pass folder, you take the high pass filter, you drag it onto the top layer and you can see this has made a high pass layer for us. If we just turn down the um, radius here you can see we get a different result. So if I set this to something like 5 or 6 you can see this highlights the, the lines in the image and that's the whole point of it. So to 5 and then we set the overlay, we set the transfer mode to overlay. So if you select it, mode overlay. And now we've overlaid that, so if we shut it off, you can see the difference. You can see right here, the detail is enhanced. And this is a different kind of sharpening. Um, this is not something you'd get with the default sharpening filter. This is um, this applies shadow and, and sort of different things in a radius, and again you can control the radius. So it really depends on the effect you're looking for. Um, you can see I don't want these lights to have a shadow that uh, doesn't look right. So that's why I kept the radius pretty low. It just depends on your scene. Um, and then I have one more example to show you. It's from inside the uh, cabin of a plane. And this is shot in you know near complete pitch black. And so of course there was a lot of ISO use here. And we have again grain in the background. Things aren't sharp. Um, this is actually you know, just a bad recording overall. But I can show you that we can reduce some noise here. So again, with this footage, we'll drag it into a new comp. And uh, right here, we've even got some snow. By the way, terrible landing, this one. The snowing, snowstorm, it was horrible. Uh, anyway. So right here, it's a bit out of focus even. Um, but let's apply neat video effect and neat video and reduce noise and we'll click options and auto profile will select a profile for us but we can do better than that we can give it something like this and I just click auto profile again and we go into the noise filter settings and here we can see the preview on and off and again YouTube please don't ruin my tutorial um, but if you're working with the footage you'll be able to see it very clearly here you can see the noise is being 
removed out of the image. We've even got RGB noise here, and that is bad, I tell you, <laughs> but it's still being eliminated. So again, we don't want to destroy it too much. We want to keep the lines in here, especially in this shot, which is out of focus slightly. And uh, yeah, we don't want to do any sharpening. Um, you can play around with the chrominance as well. Um, I suggest you read the user guide to see what these different settings do in detail. So click apply. Now that's gone. Again, duplicate the layer. We'll apply our high pass filter. And we'll set the transfer mode to overlay. And we will turn the radius down. And there you have it. That's with the high pass filter. You can see very subtly that the lines are being enhanced. Um, we can turn the radius up a bit. It's a much nicer way of sharpening, in my opinion. And they do this in Photoshop all the time with uh, portraits and stuff. Um, the high pass filter, this is where it, it originates from. It is from Photoshop and it's from the techniques they do to enhance uh, lines and uh, sharpen the image up and everything like that. So anyway, that's the conclusion of the tutorial. If you've got noisy footage, uh, try this method, see how it works for you. Um, I know of a lot of people that use neat video, a lot of people that use very high-end DSLRs, a lot of people that make films, short films, um, whatever you're into really, it, it'll work for you. Um, so I highly recommend checking it out. Anyway, my name is Ronald Griffin for Artificial Animation. If you have any questions, just leave them below, send me an email, producer at artificialanimation.com. Send me a message on YouTube. If you like the video, subscribe, like, do whatever you can. It helps me out. Remember, weekly tutorials every Monday. So if you like this kind of stuff, uh, stay tuned. All right, we'll see you next Monday.